Hello, I'm Envy and welcome to Envyco Gaming. And yes, release 21 is finally here, which means we've got a new quest to do and we're going to go out in search of this highwayman's hat. And I have to say, it's probably the best looking hat of most of the releases so far. It's one of my favourites. And I'm quite sure whether you're just a collector or whether you want to go out there pretending to be Dick Turpin, you're going to love it. So there's about there's four areas we need to go and visit this time. Um, there's an area called Desolis. Um, and within that area, there's another place called Epitaph, um, which is a bit like a dungeon. Um, we need to go back to the South Grunveld Barrens. We have been there before in a previous release, I'm sure. And we have to go back to Winton's Folly, um, back on the Hidden Vale. So, join me in game in a few seconds and hopefully we'll get this fantastic hat. So here we are, I've started on the map of Novia at Soul Town, and our first port of call is going to be Desolis. So I'm just going to show you how to get there now. Um, hopefully it won't take me too long. Hopefully, please, 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 I won't get drawn into too many random encounters. If I do, I'm going to be cutting them out. So that was my first random encounter. Um, fingers crossed I won't get into involved into another one. Um, but you never know. Um, so we're just heading up the pathway towards the, uh, the desert area. Towards the Grunveld Shardfall. Um, you'll probably notice now that um, the area is in fact blocked off. And we have to go through the uh, East Reach Gap. Um, there's no other way around. Can't jump over or anything, so. Yeah, for the purposes of this, um, we're, we're not going to spend much time here. We're just literally going to be running through. So you just need to follow the pathway. All we've got to do is just get to the other side of it. So just follow the path. And you'll see like a doorway up ahead, like a barricade. And we basically go through there, run through the control points to the other side, and then hopefully we're out again. Um, I'm not spending time trying to kill any of this stuff. So this is the, uh, the gate. So you just double click a few times and uh, go through. This is the control point. Um, once again, I'm not going to spend any time trying to take the control point. I'm just going to go head right the way through. Um, and there should be another gate at the far end. And you can see it just up ahead there. Things are still following me. Yep. So double click the gates. And there we go. These don't actually do a great deal of damage, um, so you can probably still do this on quite a low level. I suppose that's still following me, but never mind. The exit should be just ahead. Um, and just to mention, you can actually skip this part if you've got a load of gold. You can talk to the mysterious mages, there's one each side, and you get teleported through. But there's the exit. So there we have it, we're the other side of the, the gap now, and we're just going to be heading straight over here to this solace and enter. Right then, this is probably one of the easiest uh, tour guides to find, um, is literally in the encampment just up the top here. Well at least he should be, unless he's been moved. You never know. So if I look around here, see the banker. There he is. There's the tour guide. You can see he's wearing the hat. Fantastic. Talk to him. That's fine. And now we need to head straight on. This place is so cool, by the way. Um, I'm just going in here just to get the hat. I strongly recommend you level up 
and go exploring here. It is absolutely fantastic. That's the outer gate. Okay then, so this is the epitaph. Um, once again, I'm not going to spend any time doing a great deal. I'm just going to go straight and try and get to the tour guide. Um, you might need to level up a little bit for this. Um, I'm sure it can be done on a like a level 5 or the equivalent of level 5 now. Um, but it can get a little bit tricky. So you just go head down here. You just follow the stairs round. Long way to the bottom. When we get to the bottom, you'll see some slimes and a crocodile by the looks of it. Oh, it's uh, they're all attacking each other. That's handy. I can just jump over all that. And then we go take a right through in this cavern area here and through the uh, doors. I follow the corridor down to the other doors and then we want to take a right and then left I love this place it's fantastic I don't know who he is he's going to attack me though I'm going to ignore him and then we get to the end we go left and then right again and what you're looking for is we go past that room it should be this room so if we head in there there we go. And that's the tour guide in the epitaph. Right then, I will see you on the uh, map of Novia for the next location. Okay then, so we're back on the map of Novia and we're going to be heading over to the uh, southern Grunveld Barrens, which is just a short distance away here. Okay, so. I suppose the easiest way I can find my way around here is I head towards the large statue which you can just see in the distance and uh, because it's it's like a deserty kind of scene everything looks very similar um, so I, I tend to look for landmarks to try and guide my way a little bit so this probably isn't the fastest way to uh, to get to where we need to go but I know it's going to get us there so um, I always head towards this statue and if we uh, if we head on past what we want to do is just drop down here and we follow it round to the left basically just follow the wall around and you can see some buildings up ahead there um, that's where we're going to be heading now I believe, off the top of my head, there is a largish building um, on the left-hand side, which I think it almost has like some like a railing outside, um, and I think that's where we need to go. Or well, it's close to there anyway. Oh, this is the building I was on about. Yes, um, this is my next uh, landmark. So that's the building I was talking about. And behind this building, just past the scorpion, there should be a, a gap. I think this is the gap. And if I go up here, and hopefully just down here should be the tour guide. And there he is, you can just see him now. So let's talk to him. Oh, bit of a glitch there by the looks of it. Right then, so we've done three of the four now, so I will join you on the map of the Hidden Vale. Right then, I'm on the map of the Hidden Vale, um, it's Owl's Head, I'm just going to go past Wittick. And we need to be heading out towards the, the right hand side, or the west, 
Um, and if I remember correctly, the area is in the uh, deserty part. It's another desert scene. Um, so it's just ahead past uh, Raven's End, towards the lighthouse there in the distance. And here we go. Winton's Folly. This is where we need to be. Is this where we need to be? Yes, it is. There we go. Okay then, so this place I've definitely been before. Um, it's the statue straight up ahead and we need to head off towards the left hand side uh, and just follow the, uh, the cliffs around a little bit. Now, this is one of those... This is really cool actually when you get to the tour guide. Um, something really cool there. Um, if you're gonna die, this is probably likely to be the place where you might die. Um, it depends how things pan out. But um, well, you'll see what I mean in a minute or two. But um, this is this is a this is really cool. This is. But anyway, we uh, we just follow the uh, the cliffs around a little bit, and in a moment or two, we're going to be heading off to the right. Now, I think that might be just be here I think yes it's the it's the first uh, pathway off to the right so we head up here don't think there's much to kill you around this area I think there might be a few uh, skeletons or something but uh, it's not too it's not too bad this part so we go up here and we head off to the right again and you'll if you go back on yourself you'll see this area here which looks pretty cool so you go between the two statues you can see the uh, I think it's the oracle's head just ahead and what we're now going to have to do, now I'm really bad at jumping in this game and uh, you have to do a little bit of jumping here, so forgive me if it looks dreadful um, we need to be heading up here and onto these here and just use these little stepping stones I don't know if there's another way to get there, but this is the way I used anyway I need to do a big jump here there we go um, once you're up there, you head round to the right again. Hopefully, I'm not going to get killed here. You can see it's got a... I can't think what it's called, but it's a... It's like a giant phoenix, which starts attacking you if you're not careful. Oh dear, here we go. Or maybe not. Well, here's the tour guide anyway, so let's get that. Um, and I've got my highwayman's hat so let's have a quick look at that if we can um, oh dear that phoenix is going to get me let's put the highwayman's oh I'm dead already oh well anyway you know how to, know how to get the highwayman's hat now um, I hope you've enjoyed this video um, and I'll see you next time